Well, let's return to our coverage of Africa Day. To mark the occasion, President Cyril Maposa has hosted the diplomatic corps in Pretoria, Kotswane. Now, the day marks the founding of the OAU, that's the Organization of African Unity, way back on this day in Addis Ababa in 1963. Currently, the OAU has morphed into what is known the, uh, as the African Union. ENCS Kailiche Kumalo is uh, in the capital. Kailiche, a short while ago, we saw President Cyril Maposa addressing that occasion and I'm just wondering if the festivities have begun. I'm just uh, sorry that I'm hopping on the festivities because for me Africa Day also means celebration. Well, absolutely, Braden. And also, just in terms of the reception of the address by President Cyril Ramaphosa, it's been really well received by the diplomats in attendance. And of course, uh, talking about the core issues facing the continent, talking about trade and talking about that all important uh, Kigali agreement, which is about establishing one of the biggest free trade areas in Africa. And it's been hailed as a game changer. But, Braden, I'm not. Uh, uh, just by myself. You, of course, with the festivities happening here, we have Niger Ambassador Mayaki. She's here with us. She's part of this uh, lunch here. For you, ma'am, what does Africa Day mean to you? Africa Day for me is a big day because it remembers me the creation of OAU. O OAU, right? Uh, in 1963 by the, fund, uh, the, 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 the first president, Kwame Nkrumah, you have Kwame Nkrumah, Burgiba, and many, uh, Jori Amani, and many, many presidents among them. So this day, we have to take it, all African, uh, very important, because it is a day of solidarity it means solidarity it means unity it means uh, uh, in, uh, integration it means uh, work together and uh, uh, it means development of africa it means africa has to look at the same way to go in the same way to develop herself itself and I mean, looking at a very key uh, issue, trade in Africa, Kigali agreement where the heads of states recently talked about it, uh, you know, its length. Your country is playing a very important role in that. But I mean, some countries have not ratified the agreement. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to say, uh, I want to tell you, my president is the champion of this agreement because it has been charged by the others. Uh, president to wrote it. So he do it well and he present it to Kigali. It has been adopted by 44 countries. The other country, they didn't know, but they want to explain to the people. They don't refuse it. They want to go back home and explain it to the, to the people. With this uh, agreement uh, Africa is go with this agreement Africa is going to make good trade between the countries to exchange products agriculture to fight against poverty you see to fight and to go uh, uh, simply everywhere no visa and uh, it is a progress for Africa all right, uh, thank you so much indeed to Her Excellency, a Nigerian uh, diplomat uh, based here, Niger, of course, uh, that's uh, where she's from. So, by all means, a plethora of issues confronting the continent, from peace to issues of trade to uh, heritage as well. So, back to you, Pradhan. Thank you very much, Kyle. When you're we speaking to the Nigerian ambassador, I could hear the sounds of Davido from Nigeria in the background as they continue to celebrate Africa Day in Pretoria.